Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm in Salina Turda. Well, actually I'm in Turda, Romania. And I'm at the, the mine, the salt mine, Turda, Salina Turda. Um, and I, it's always funny saying Turda. Um, but anyway, I'm going to Salina Turda, the mine, and, and seeing what it is. And it was, um, somebody suggested it on my, uh, one of my subscribers on my YouTube channel said, I have to go here. So uh, here I am, and I appreciate the suggestions, everybody. If you have any places that, that you want to see or you'd like, think I would like, then by all means, please let me know. And we'll do it together. Okay, so let's go take a look and see what it costs to get in and go from there. So Salina Turda. Selena Turda, Selena Turda. Good morning. Good morning. Very cool. Okay. Are you guys going in? Yes. There you go. We work here. Oh, okay. Kind of <laughs> yeah. If I want a ticket. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I need a ticket. And there's no drones here. And then here's what it costs. So if you're an adult, it's 50 lei. And except on weekends. Weekends it's 60 lei. So remember Luna and Veneri are Monday through Friday. Samba and Sunday 60 lei. If you're retired it's 30 lei. So anyway that's that. And let's see is there anything else here? Uh, I don't think so. Let me buy a ticket and I'll come back. Bye everybody. Bye. So the old entrance. So this is the old entrance yes. and that's where we are now. Yes. Exactly. Okay. This dates back to 1856. 1856 okay. Yeah. So the tunnel, about 700 meters, it looks like this. Okay. And the first open chamber is this one. Okay. The echo chamber or the balcony of Mine Joseph. Okay. You can hear the echo there about 20 times. It comes back. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Then there's the extraction machine over here. Okay. This was um, used to bring up the salt at the surface. Okay. It was put into motion with the help of horses. They were moving around the wind. So the horses were, so it was, okay, got it, got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then there's the extraction shaft chamber right next to this one. Okay. And that's like here, right? Um, not really. It's here. Oh, up here. Five. Okay. Five. And then right next oh, to Oh, I see the line. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And then is the altar chamber or the rich man's staircase. It has okay. an interesting story to it. Okay. You'll have to walk down about 42 wooden steps and then you'll see the elevator. That will lead you here. This is the main chamber, the biggest one, Rudolf Mine is called. We have a Ferris wheel inside. Okay. And a Ferris wheel? Yep. Really? Okay. Yep. Wow. Yep. Okay. The only one in Europe. And from the bottom of the, the panoramic elevator in Rudolf Mine, there's another level, the lowest one at 120 meters below Earth. Okay, so we that's... We have a lake there, a natural lake inside. You can row wow. out. We have a salt island in the middle of it. Okay. And it's really beautiful. And that's about it. Enjoy your visit. And then you come back up and come back out. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Because so, we have another entrance. Right. Because you people come if in... You wanna, yeah. If you want to see that also, it looks like this. So yeah. I don't know, like UFO shape, something like that. Okay. You should go there and uh, walk up the stairs about 107, yeah, 107 steps. Uh -huh. And then uh, just keep your ticket with you and make sure you show it to my uh, colleagues okay. up there. And I'll probably come back out this way because okay. <laughs> I'm on the bus. So, oh, okay. okay. Okay, so walk down this way. And then this this one is... Uh, Okay, that's the tunnel I'm walking on. Yeah. And then I come to this spot, which mm -hmm. is right here. Yes. And then I go a little further, and then this one is this open area. Yeah, everything is on the right hand side. Everything is on the right hand side for yeah. me. Okay, okay. And this is the one not to miss. This one in the lake, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, sounds great. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, have fun. <sighs> okay, sounds good. I'll take the map just in yeah, case. Sure. And this is where I start? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mucha mask. Book pull. I gotta be able to read. <laughs> okay, well, we made it. So here's the uh, entrance. Wow. So this is 700 meters long. So how many feet? That's so that's like 2,100. So 700 meters. That's like three fourths of a mile. So this is three-fourths of a mile long. Is that right? I think that's right. Everything is on the right. She said that a few times. Pay attention, Eric. Everything is on the right. So.
Well, this isn't the echo chamber. <laughs> okay, well, you don't need to be sitting here with me doing this uh, <laughs> three-fourths of a mile walk. So I'll come back. <laughs> Do you remember that corridor we ran into in uh, um, Oreda? <laughs> this puts that to shame, but it's different. This isn't the, the corridor of cannons. But anyway, neither here nor there. Sorry. Okay, I'll be back, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody, I'm in uh, Salina Turda, and I'm walking this uh, three-quarter of a mile long corridor, and you can see it behind me, it is just crazy long. Um, but I wanted to give you a suggestion. <laughs> Bring a coat. It was like 72 or 73 degrees outside, and so I didn't think I was gonna need a coat, and I thought, you know, you're gonna be underground. <laughs> yeah, bring a coat. It's, it, it's not, uh, not warm and cozy inside of here, and it's kind of damp, so I, I certainly would have a coat. Also, if you are, um, um, let's say, mobility challenged. How was that? Boy, Eric pulled that right out of the air, didn't he? Anyway, neither here nor there. Um, this is not the place for you. Um, the ground isn't real flat and not real even, and this three quarters of a mile is a long way. So you better, uh, you better be able to walk. And you have to go in three quarters of a mile, you'll have to go out three quarters of a mile. So we're talking a mile and a half right off the bat. So uh, make sure you're able to make that distance. And then what was it? There was like, I don't know, a few hundred steps down and then back up again and then some kind of elevator, she said. But anyway, I, I don't know that if, uh, if you can't do a few miles, this probably is not the tourist attraction for you. Okay, that's it everybody, let's keep walking. I can't even see the end of it. Let me turn this camera on. I mean, you can see how far, you can't even see the end of that. <laughs> and you can't even see the end of this either. I mean, it is, this is gonna be a, a walk. And, and right, that's what the thing said, the new entrance is on the other side of that mountain. So I think that's amazing. So this is just getting you through the mountain to the other side where the mine is. Um, I think that's pretty crazy. Okay, that's it. I'll get to the end. I should have brought a backpack and sandwiches. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, it looks like we've reached kind of the end of that one. And now we're at the, the start of this one. Okay, there's a sign. And look at this, look at these walls. I guess that's salt. Wow, so that last one, look at this. It's all round, <laughs> you know? And this is almost square. Um, and it's just covered with salt. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's why it's a salt mine, duh. <laughs> but it's interesting, okay. Well, I'll walk on this side because it's a little smoother. And you can see that the road is uh, a little rough over there, but uh, I was thinking it was going to come to an end. Oh, oh my gosh, look how far down that goes. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so Mina Iosef, Mina Iosef, and I dug it out. What is Mina? Everything is to the right, Eric. So, corridor. Oh, echo chamber. Here we go. Okay, so let's see. Selena Echo Corridor, Kravak, Mina Rudolf, Mina Teresa, is it Daruguga? Daruga? Okay, so let's go to the Echo Chamber. Uh, there's the door, that's really funky. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow, can you get over to that? No, I guess that's closed. So is there English here? Here it is, the Joseph Mine. The extraction of salt in Joseph's Mine started in 1740 and its name was given to the honor of Emperor Joseph II. One can only view the mine from the balconies carved in the salt at the level of transparency. Transportation gallery, the connection between the surface and the inside of the mine is made through two shafts with useful 6.5 square meter, blah, blah, blah. 115 meters below, 80 meters, okay, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay. Oh, that is really pretty. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty staggering. I wonder if I can back out just a little bit without missing all of it. Um, wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Wow. Okay. Stop wowing Eric and keep walking. Um, I guess that's it. I, I, I guess this is just the... Um, do not throw objects inside, risk of injuring other people working below. <laughs> okay, we're not. I got beer cans, I gotta throw them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, push. And I think, okay, so I just took a right there. So now we're going back this way. So 270 meters, 615 meters. Um, trash cans. <laughs> It's Romania. I love it. Trash cans even in a mine. You can't beat that. Okay, so this one says crevice and salt patutatu. Oh, this is the horse thing she was talking about. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they'd have horses hooked to this thing and this is how they'd extract it, right? Wow. Wow, wow. Oh, and look at the rope up there. Wow. Wow, so so that's just like a big drill, right? And that's how they'd pull out the the stuff. Let's see, there's something written in English, but you're not going to be able to see that all at once. Why did they make it so wide? The trolley was built in 1881. The year was carved on the vertical axis of the machine. The current machine replaced the first smaller trolley, which was installed in 1864. No other salt mine in Europe has such a machine. Um, man, I hope you guys can read that. Um, the trolley extraction machine, they call it a trolley. The extraction machine is a winch with a vertical axis known as a gepe, gepel, and has four operating arms called tovels. Used to hitch the horse to that moved around the spindle were driving machines. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way. So you guys will have to pause and start, pause and start so that you guys can read this. Um, Wow. Okay. So this is the machine. Very cool. Yeah, look at the gears and stuff. 1800s too, that's pretty amazing. And this is Cervic Hall. Okay. And then ladder up. Look at the look at the salt on the, the roof and stuff. Oh wow, that's really cool. Look at this. Huh. So you can see through the salt. That's amazing. Oh, and this is how it looked. Okay, so look at here. So this is that machine we just looked at with the horses where they would go. And they even have the horses hitched hitch to it and they would go around and it would pull up the stuff and then go up to the conveyor belt and then go up to the place outside. Oh no, I see. They just turn the rope and then the, the miners down there at the bottom would fill those bags and then they would bring up the bags and down the bags and down the bags. Okay, cool. I get it. I get it. So it's not like a drill bit. It really is like just a winch pulley system that takes it from the top or from the bottom up to the surface. And then you can't really see down, but I certainly get it now. Okay, very cool, very cool. Yeah, that's amazing. Huh. The extraction hall of Rudolph Mine. Can you guys see all of that if I back out too far? Make sure you hit zoom. Um, oh, let me. Well, that certainly helps. 
the extraction shaft room of Rudolf Miner's utility room that hosts blind extraction shaft with no direct link to the premise outside of the mine. Okay, the ceiling room was above the shaft. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so let me look at this one more time. So the horses just turned and they turned that rope and that rope went all the way down to the bottom. And that's, uh, that's how they got the salt out. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And then what? Uh, can't go that way. Can't go. Oh, can you go this way? Um, oh, is this how you go down? Oh, those are those ropes. Like we saw in that thing there, that demo. And then what's down here? Um, uh, one way only. Um, I think, okay, well, I think this is where I'm going. <laughs> it says intense, so I, I hope this is right. So, okay, well, let me get down here. And, I mean, the steps are so tiny. Look at my foot. I mean, my foot is all, my leg is all the way against the other side. And so there, <laughs> it's that duck walk thing again. <laughs> is it this whole way, all the way down? Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow. And these are even smaller. My Half my foot doesn't fit on that step. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Get out of here. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> Look how far down that is. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at that. That is just crazy talk. Wow. Wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, well, at least there's an elevator or you can take the stairs. What does this say? Uh, Dora, take care, I think, one way. Um, does the elevator go down? I guess it probably does. Wow. Oh, it's got a playground down there for kids and everything. Let me see if I can press this button and go down or if I have to hoof it. Um, is there a button here? No, no. Um, oh, there is a button. You just gotta feel around, Eric. <laughs> I'll find the button. I don't mind feeling. Look how straight up and down that wall is too. And that is huge. I mean, it's not little. Wow. Wow, wow. I mean, that's that's probably 100, well, what did it say, 110 meters down? So the length of a football field, maybe? I mean, can you even see the playground from here? <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, my chariot has arisen. Arisen? Get it? Never mind, anyway. Take it easy, Eric. Okay, open the door. Seven people. And we're gonna go down to the bottom. We'll get to see it go all the way down too. How very cool. Man, thank you for the wonderful suggestion. Wow. Is, is there a restaurant down here too? Um, they don't have putt-putt golf here too. <laughs> Pool tables? Get out of here. Shut the door. Oh, they've got a concert hall over there in the corner. Get out of here. You gotta be kidding me. Wow. And a Ferris wheel. That's what she said. Oh my gosh, okay. So it, that tells you how big this place is. Um, yeah, wow, wow. Okay, <laughs> okay. Very, 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 very cool. Okay. Good morning. Wow. Wow. 
crazy staggering. Oh, is this the lake? Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's get to this end, then that's smaller. Wow. <laughs> they, have, they have damn boats. Get out of here. Look at this cavern now. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's pretty amazing, everybody. Let's see if I can get my hand out of there so I can take a good picture. Wow. Huh. Yeah, look at the little walkway and everything else. That is amazing. And then you turn around and you look at this place and this is just over the top crazy. Wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get out of here. Wow. And they sell uh, tourist stuff. <laughs> Look at the... <laughs> wow, that is funny. What do they do? Do people just come down here and play? I mean, so this is a... It looks like a putt-putt golf kind of thing here. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's what that's exactly what it is. So hole one and hole two, you go up and over the the thing and then they got the arrow at the catch hat and then you gotta do the bounce ricochet thing to get over and the loop de loop. Very cool. Wow. And pool tables. Get out of here. Look at the Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I think I'd ride a helicopter before I'd get on that thing, I'm sorry to say. And then a kid's playground. Wow. And what's over here? Ping pong tables. It's funny. And these are the cars for the Ferris wheel. And they look kinda kinda rusty. Oh, and you can walk back up if you <laughs> so desired. Oh my gosh. Uh-uh. Not so interested. Wow. Wow wow. And then what do they do? Concerts or shows down here too? Amphitheater. Just look at the... Wow. Yeah, I don't think you can imagine. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Massage chairs. 
How do you get to the water? Can I get to the water? Uh, over there in this way? Okay, okay, thank you. Mucho más. This is this is over the top. Wow. I love that ceiling too. It's like you can see the the wave of salt in the rock. Here's some more stuff to read. The Rudolph Mine. The opening work of the Rudolph Mine started in 1854. Can you guys read that? I, I hope you can. I'll try to hold still so you can zoom in. And I'll do a little short quickie one so you can go back and read it as you need to. goes elevator lift down so this goes down to the next level I think this goes down yeah. to the water yeah. okay thank you it's an amazing place thank you. <laughs> Eric, you don't mind, I please that'd be great Thank you. So this is the water and it's how many meters deep? Eight? No. Eight meters. So 24 feet deep. And you can scuba dive in here? No. No. Not really. Just the, you can rent the boat and go around. Paddle around. <laughs> right. I don't know. It looks pretty dark. Because the, the walls are dark. Yes. It's reflecting in the water. Gotcha. Yeah. And there's no light. Just wow. Fake light. Wow, wow. Amazing. What are these structures? You mean the wood structures? Yeah. Well, futuristic something. Art futuristic yeah. stuff, okay. Huh. Uh, a woman uh, talked about everything here. What was that? Structure, uh, like on a woman. A woman designed it? Yeah, designed it. Yeah. Ah. Everything. So is that like like salt is dripped on it? Yeah. And that's why it's covered and in the white? Uh, the wood uh, gets stronger in contact with the salt. Oh, I see. So it lasts longer. Yeah. Wow. And, and you can't uh, go up this way. And the other way, the, the steel and every... Corrodes. From, yeah, from steel it corrodes and it gets yeah. rather rust in time. Wow. Amazing. So you use wood instead of uh, right. metal. metal. Yeah. Is the water salty? Yeah. You can taste it. You can touch it if you want. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. Mucho mask. Wow, that's amazing. Look at the The salt is just encrusted all the wood and what did he say it makes the wood like super strong and anything that's metal it corrodes and eats wow 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 look at this thing too wow And no drones. <laughs> wow. Man, I would not want to be... Look how dark that water is. 
Yeah, that's a whole bunch of scary in there. So, 24 feet deep. Wow. And again, I still love the patterns in the walls. You can hear that kid throughout the whole place. <laughs> wow. Oh my, look at this. This is that where I came down at to the first level. And it's like a hole. That's all it is, it's like a hole. Wow. Wow, wow. Well, they certainly have no graffiti rules here, but uh, certainly amazing. Wow. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, you'd never guess, would you? Wow. Yeah, and it's, yeah, the wood is, huh. You can hear the dripping from the ceilings. to the echo. Wow. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> He's stomping his foot now too, that's funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah, no. Truly, truly. I, I mean, it's it's like another world. Good morning. Warning. Anything in English <laughs> that's scary and I should uh, reference? Nothing. Um, scratch and scribble on the otherwise damage and furnishing a bit of the, don't do this maybe. I think withdraw salt from the mine. Okay, don't do that either. Uh, scratch and scribble, drink alcohol. No drinking alcohol down here, no eating either, and no smoking. Okay. Well, we won't do any of those things. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty staggering, everybody. This is a must-do. If you're coming to Romania and Cluj, I don't know how you could skip this. This is just wonderful. And thank you so much for recommending it. Oh, I'd hate to miss it. It is just... You know, I've never seen anything like it. Now I need to go to Krakow and see that one. It has a huge church in it, I guess. You know, the space is just so open and empty. They just fill it with 
things and stuff, I guess. Wow. Look at the waves. Yeah. Get out of here. Very, 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 very cool. Go ride the elevator up again. Can you imagine walking up all these stairs? I mean, back then in the day, I bet they had to do it all the time. Now look at trash cans. <laughs> Romania, I love you. Thank you so much for taking care of the trash. Um, the Ter Teresa mine. Uh, what does it say here? It's, let me see if I can get you the whole picture so you can see it all. There you go. Is the oldest chamber that can be visited in the Tour de Salt Mine Ensemble. It is isolated bell shaped mine exploration of the Salt Kitchen 1690 and ended in 1880. And during the period, the salt was extracted using a downward horizontal slicing method. Salt rock blocks were cut from the. Okay. Wow. 112 meters below the surface. The concentration of salt was 260, blah, blah, blah. So 112 meters below the surface is how much, everybody? So three feet per meter. So that is uh, 340 feet. 300, so the length of a football field. Okay, let's ride the elevator. Oh, I guess one more look while I'm waiting for the chariot. Wow. Okay, everybody, I'll be back. I was gonna say, look at the the rust from the salt and the corrosion, and the, I mean, yeah, you can see how badly it is just absolutely deteriorated. Yeah. Huh. Okay, this elevator is safe, though, everybody. I promise. I promise it's safe. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Look at the walls. It's all salt. All of it. <laughs> Amazing. A corridor, a whole tunnel, a whole, wow. Okay, after climbing the steps, I can go this way 205 meters or that way 780. So that's really eight, probably 900 meters. So it's a mile through this mountain. And we're going this way. <sighs> Man. Thanks for coming along, everybody. It's been absolutely wonderful. What an experience. You know, I feel pretty lucky and honored to come and see and experience your mind. Simply uh, staggeringly cool. Very, very cool. <sighs> well, if you get this far in the video, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye, everybody.